in this lecture we will learn about java threads and its methods wait and notify so these are two very important methods for synchronization among threads and let us see what it do so the name is very suggestive so it tells that some thread has to wait okay and it has to wait till other thread notifies okay so this is the basic idea so it means like you are in the queue two three people are in the queue there is a room where a doctor is sitting okay so this person one two and three so one enters okay so doctor and it notifies and so the patient one enters okay so this doctor has thread has got the notify method so now thread one enters here it goes here then this is processed by the doctor he looks at him and then that thread one goes away so this again doctor notifies thread two comes and so on so this is the basic idea about java wait and notify so a little bit about the wait and notify so first thing that we should see is the synchronized keyword okay so synchronized keyword if you write a method with a synchronized keyword okay then declare it with synchronized keyword it means it is exclusive access method okay and what does it mean to make a method synchronized it means that you have basically if there are let's say three synchronized methods are there okay so on one particular object these methods cannot be interleaved okay so that is the meaning so no two invocations of synchronized methods on the same object can interleave with each other okay so let's say method 1 was there and method 2 was there and what happens t1 was executing this t2 thread t2 was executing m2 and thread t3 was executing synchronized method m3 okay so what happens now and if there is only one object let's say o1 so what happens now if this is synchronized these are synchronized methods then these methods by different threads cannot interleave it means if m1 is in between okay so t1 is executing m1 and it is only half done then it cannot be interleaved by a thread t2 which now runs m2 okay only when whole of this m1 is run by thread t1 it will allow t2 to run m2 okay or t3 to run m3 so they cannot be interleaved even if this method is long so synchronized statement must specify the object object that provides the lock okay so you can use synchronized with method okay it means that object class object will be the monitor but otherwise if you are using it in a block statement like synchronized okay then you have to define the object here like which object you are trying to synchronize on okay so now let's see and wait tells the thread to give up the monitor okay it tells that okay even if you are in the synchronized method which could not have been interrupted but what happens if you are going to wait for long time then you can go to sleep and give up the monitor okay it means that let's say i was in a synchronized method synchronized method i was there inside and there were few lines of code okay here there was a wait so it means if i'm waiting so no other thread could have now executed other their synchronized method if this wait was for long so what java does for making the code more parallel is that 
you let the thread grow to sleep and leave the give up the monitor or the lock and then what happens this thread is waiting okay and it will now wait until some other thread enters the monitor the same lock and it calls the notify okay a notify then what it does it says that it was waiting for something okay that let some work be done and then it will wake up okay so it will be waked up by some other thread and this wait be should be on the same object on which notify goes okay so this is the thing you have an object here so one thread calls the wait for this then other thread notifies that okay for what you are waiting is now it is done okay so this is the basic idea now what we will do is let us say our work here is there are two threads okay thread t1 and t2 are there where t1 is the main thread itself and t2 is a thread which sums number from 1 to 100 or say 1000 okay some large number so what happens is we will now say that okay t2 thread we will make and say t2 dot start and then we want that the thread main thread should print that okay what was the sum but what happens if this thread has not summed all the numbers let's say it was a very large sum and it has not summed up all the numbers then t1 might give you some wrong result if it is interleaving so let's say t2 dot start happened so this calls the sum method and then it was in bit in the process and it had let's say it had summed up numbers from 1 to something like this many numbers it had summed up but it was not this whole 10 to the power of 7 numbers okay so what happens this has some partial sum it has done so when now main thread gets a chance so it will print that partial sum itself so how to solve this problem so we tell this main thread that please wait so this thread will wait and only when it sees that the t2 has finished summing up all the numbers it should notify and then the main thread should print okay so this is the basic idea now let's see the code for this so we will look at the code so our code name is wait notify class here you see we have a adder thread is there okay so that thread adds number and then we say that okay adder dot start so it starts summing up the numbers and what happens let's see the adder thread now adder thread has a run method which is synchronized on that object itself okay so now what it does it adds number from 1 to 100 and when it, when it is done it notifies okay so if a thread is waiting for it to do the total sum it will be notified and now let's see what happens here so this now main thread okay it has a synchronized block adder okay so this is synchronized it means it is all synchronized on the same object that adder thread now it try in a try catch statement it has it is now waiting for adder to add all the elements and it calls adder dot wait it means now on that object itself so now adder is the object main thread okay so it goes and it says that okay i am waiting here so main thread is now waiting on object adder okay and it now sleeps so it releases this monitor okay it releases the lock and now what happens that because it has also done the adder dot start so what it does it goes to its own method okay so let's see so that adder thread so it comes here 
and here it is synchronized again in the run method it is synchronized on its own object and it sums all the numbers and then calls notify okay so notify which means whatever threads were waiting on that object will be notified and the first one waiting will be getting the chance to execute so now we see so here this was waiting now when the summation is done it will be notified okay so this thread will be notified that okay summation is done and now it can print that okay so this is done the wait is done now it can go and find that okay the total sum is adder dot total okay so let's try to run this code and see if we get correct answer so if you see here so it is running so 4950 is the sum of first 100 numbers so this is working fine so just to give you a way why it is working correctly let's now see if what happens if i have a thread here in this one i'm not waiting i'm not allowing the main thread to wait so this thread adder thread starts to sum up the numbers and the total at the same time i ask the main thread to print the total of the adder okay so adder dot total is here so it has a method total so adder dot total is printed so let's see here so adder dot total is printed and so what happens let's see here does it work so we run and let's see the total is zero so this means what the added thread didn't even start the summation it was still zero and the main thread printed the sum so it was zero added thread could not sum at all and thus you have to wait this added thread had to wait which it didn't do so i hope you understand the importance of wait and notify so if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and tell about this channel to your friends thanks a lot